welcome back students so today we will uh, learn about how to uh, fit a curve okay we have already done numpy and we have also uh, done polynomials in numpy so today we will do curve fitting by numpy so to fit a curve uh, we need some data okay suppose uh, the basic ones like we have some x data and we have some y data and the x y data are then uh, plotted uh, normally in graph papers and all over here what we'll do we'll take some points as x corresponding some points as y and then we will make them as numpy array and finally plot them so we will do curve fitting by numpy and for that open your ideal shell today we'll do this part in ideal shell but from next uh, class we'll switch over to our spider view okay so over here is my screen visible okay so just go to file on top corner left corner on top file click on new file okay a pop-up box opens up can you see the pop-up box is my screen now visible yes actually my shell was being uh, visible that's why now is it visible okay now in this format this over here you have to type in your program okay so whatever program you want to type you will type over here fine i want to plot a data suppose the data is of this format let me share my data okay all of you can see my data okay so i have taken a data i want to fit the following data by a polynomial so my data is like x is equal to 0 then 10 20 30 40 50 60 till 90 and corresponding values of y are like 76 92 106 you please uh, take this down in your copy so that it would be helpful for you when we will type the program you can also type accordingly okay so just simple x and y we have a data okay i stop sharing this whiteboard and i just move back to my shell okay so over here I'll type the program. Fine. So first we have to write import numpy as np. And then I want to import numpy dot polynomial dot polynomial as poly so have you written this part okay to fit with a polynomial we have to import polynomial dot polynomial module from numpy and use the function polyfit x y and n to fit the x y data with a polynomial of the order say n okay so the next thing i have to import is matplotlib matplotlib dot by plot 
as plt. Okay, have you written this part? This uh, we require to plot and to show the plot. Okay, so our import part is over. Now I will just write the two arrays that I have to construct with the given data x and y. So x is equal to np dot array. I have an have the array in a single format. Okay, it's one dimensional array. So I have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. I made a mistake. 90. Okay. My next array will be the set of values for y. So I'll write np dot array and what are the values I just forgot. Someone please say I just write. Yeah, okay. Yes, 76, uh, okay, 92, 106, okay, 123, 249 okay is that it okay so I have two arrays with me now the coefficients I require the coefficients so I'll write co e f f s that's for coefficients of poly dot polyfit I mentioned earlier that I require the polyfit function x comma y comma x comma y comma 2 and I require y fit poly dot poly val x comma coefficients write this part so have you written this part well for this very example we have fitted the polynomial this polynomial we have fitted the polynomial of order 2 okay and this very line will help you to understand and evaluate the fitted y values okay so this line will help you to understand and evaluate the fitted y values and hence after this we just have one more part that is the plotting part. So plt dot plot. What are we going to plot now? We're going to plot x comma y. Comma. Just type, I'll say everything, don't worry. Y fit and I'll take say uh, as K minus, okay? Yes, what are these K minus and K plus? I'll just say, I think you haven't gone through my uh, class of uh, matplotlib. Have you? Yes, that's why you are stuck. 
never mind i'll say so in order to plot we have already uh, imported matplotlib and so we'll write plt plot plot of what x and y and over here we have the original data x y and fitted that as x uh, and y fit okay and plot it together further we have some uh, portions over here that uh, k o and k uh, this minus sign this indicates uh, the color of the line with and the circles whether you want to use the uh, circles triangles the symbols or the dots of the points we usually make round shape over here i also had made a round shape this k stands for this k stands for black and this o stands for circle so the dot would be black circle and this part where y fit i have used this would be a line which would be black in color because k denotes black and this dash means it is a continuous line so i'm fitting the points x and y with this sort of dot and i'm uh, uh, fitting that uh, i mean to say i'm uh, constructing the best fit line through it by using this part okay now is it clear now what else do you require when you plot a graph you require a title it will look better so i just mentioned a plt title over here and give your graph a title a name so i'm writing fitting by poly fit okay and i mentioned the size for just convenience uh, even if you don't mention it's not a problem okay and then what do i want i want to sh see my plot so plt dot show parenthesis okay this is your program to fit that x and y values with the help of a polynomial okay now you have to save this file so save this save as say suppose i want to save this in my uh, this part as uh, curve fitting okay is already in python file so you don't have to worry about the extension it is being saved see curve fitting dot py the name has arrived now i want to run uh, this because we are doing this in python shell and we are using uh, this online platform i have to share my screen from next day onwards i'll do one thing i'll go for the spider over there you have all the three windows in the same frame and you know don't have to switch this windows and then check okay so i'm running the program now the program has been run and the result is also obtained somewhere and i have the curve here with me but i think you're not being able to see let me just share my curve for you okay can you see my curve so fitting by poly fit the name has arrived on top and you can see the x values are here is from 0 to 90 you have 0 to 90 as i told you the points would be black in color and would be circle and the line will be so as a continuous line black continuous line so you have all the points corresponding value of y is on this axis it would have been better if i had mentioned the y and uh, x axis labelings then it would be uh, easier for you all to understand and the graph would have been more attractive but for the time being you can now understand that uh, how to obtain um, numpy arrays and how to uh, uh, 
fit a curve using NumPy functions. Okay. Now, you can also see over here because in exams you might be having this shell, uh, idle shell, maybe in some colleges or in some colleges you might be having the spider or the anaconda, a more uh, better versions. So you must be accustomed with all of these versions so that you're not stuck in the exam. So if you uh, perform this sort of uh, uh, programs in idle shell don't forget to save the graph separately okay so over here you can save the graph you have the options out here just save your graph I'm saving my graph say in uh, in my pictures uh, I get the name as say polyfit NumPy graph, okay? And I save it. Okay, now you saw. So I stop here. I think you have understood. I'll share some problems with you. Try to solve it out. And if you are stuck anywhere, just uh, uh, say it in the next class without hesitation. Okay, take care and thank you.